everyone and welcome to today's video and today is a book review day where we're going to try and review as many books as we can we normally get through three or four um, but this is very useful exercise for yourself in learning about the different factors that can help books sell so if you're keen on getting your books out there and making more sales then this is a useful exercise for you to follow with now, if you've not been here before, my name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it, grow it, and that's your money I'm talking about. If you like videos like that, give it a thumbs up and also make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So, let's get on to the first book. And here we have a Halloween word search book. The person that um, referred this book to me says he's had 1,100 impressions because he's running Amazon ads on this book, but only a click-through rate of 0.38%, which means of a, on about 1,100 impressions, that's probably about four clicks, which is not many. Now, when your click-through rate starts to get that low and a bit lower, you are in danger of Amazon uh, not showing your book very much at all. So you may start to see your impressions um, go down quite drastically so it's just on that cusp so I'd be be a bit wary and just keep a, an eye on things so just generally looking at the book when I first saw this book it was on my phone and a lot of people do their shopping um, buy books on Amazon on their phone and the only issue I'd say when I first looked at the book was this down here where it says word search it wasn't very clear and it looks like, you know, if you draw a line vertically down, it looks like you've got Halloween there and then word search just sort of crammed into a smaller space. So it may be worthwhile just let in that um, expand, expand outwards a bit more. So just stretch it across so that word search is a bit more clear. So if you've got a low click-through rate this is usually an issue with the, the conversion part of the equation of sales and if you'd watched um, my video on sales and the the important equation that is sales equals traffic plus conversions so traffic um, can be affected by what keywords you're targeting in the title and subtitle and it can also be influenced by the competition of the niche that you're entering if it's too competitive your book just won't appear in the organic search results and you're not going to get any impressions now this person has run ads and sometimes running ads on a book can give you that useful information such as okay I can pay for those impressions and if I'm not getting any clicks it usually means there's an issue with conversions and the factors that affect conversions are the cover the title and subtitle the interior the description the price point and the reviews but the reviews you can't really directly control so it's just really those main factors so I'd say if you're not getting any clicks it's often an issue with the cover so you're getting those impressions it's appearing in front of people's eyeballs but you're not getting those clicks so it's something usually about the cover that's putting people off now it might be that word search it's not very clear but looking at the overall color scheme I had a look on Amazon at some Halloween word search books and they all the, the ones that are selling seem to have uh, a familiar type colour theme and that's this orange, let's have a good look here, orange with black and white. Mainly the orange and black seems to be the thing that stands out. So looking at this cover, what I might be inclined to do is do a background in a bright orange um, where we've got these, let's enlarge this, where we've got this sort of word search. I think that's good because it tells customers it is a word search. Make that a bit more clear. So if you've got an orange background, make this word search part of it a bit darker so it stands out on that orange background. And then you'd have to do the fonts in probably black. And you could keep this uh, image in the center here if you so wished. I think with this image, you are probably limiting your audience more towards the adults, maybe, I don't know, sort of the, those that like gothic-y type things. I mean, I, I, I get it, um, but it may appear to people that want that more traditional Halloween gothic horror type 
um, theme. So that's just uh, to bear that in mind. So the next thing we're going to do is just look at this market, okay? and see how competitive it is. Now looking at this, it looks in the title, we've got the main keyword here, it looks appears to be Halloween word search. So if we go to Halloween word search, the number of results are 689. So that's less than a thousand, so that means it's not too competitive, there's a good chance of getting your book ranked here. And if we can see when I did the search, this book does appear here with some more. Now looking at the best sellers ranks, it's difficult to know how well these books sell because at the moment the searches for these types of books will only be starting to, to increase slowly. Um, but I'm sure by the time Halloween comes around, these bestsellers ranks are going to fall quite dramatically. So I think this is a good market to get into. I've done a, a videos on the, the Halloween niche and the puzzle book market and it is a very strong market. So I think it's a good market. You've chosen a keyword that's not too competitive, so there's a good chance of ranking, so that's good. The only thing I'm not sure of is you've written The Dreadful in front. Now, that might put people off. It's sort of a very negative word, dreadful. People might just look at that and go, you know, subconsciously trigger a dreadful book. Okay, pass. Um, so I'm not, I'd give that a miss. I'd, I'd take that off if I was, if I was publishing this book. And if we look at the subtitle, we've got a spooky holiday word search and Halloween trivia for teens and adults. Now, I'm not sure if this would be classed as a trivia book because it is word search. Trivia books uh, are more quiz type books. Now, I don't know if you've got any sort of quizzes in here, but um, I don't think so. But you're targeting holiday word search here. Now, I did go and have a look at holiday word search. And a lot of the books that appear, well, you've got this book here in the ads, but a lot of the books that appear are for the holiday season, which is more traditionally the, the Christmas season. So I probably wouldn't be putting that in a, a subtitle. I don't think that's a keyword you ought to be targeting. Now let's have a look at the interior. And I did have a look at this and I was very impressed. It looks very professional indeed. So that's not going to be an issue with customers. I mean, this looks superb. It's one of the, the best uh, word search interiors that I have seen. It's obvious that you've spent quite a bit of time on this. So no issues there. That wouldn't put customers off. $7.99, looking at the market, that seems a, a reasonable price. It seems to range between $6.99. We've got $9.99, uh, $6.99. You may, in order to get some sales, want to try just reducing it to, to $6.99. And if you start to get sales and reviews, you could always then consider increasing the price to, to $7.99. I went to, I've got um, the, the Helium 10 suite of, of software and I went to the Magnet 2 keyword research because I just wanted to just check on the search volume. So I put in Halloween word search and we came up with a search volume which is approximate. They have an algorithm that calculates this of 683 um, per month. So that's a, um, a reasonable amount of, uh, of search volume. And I say with that competition, I think you could potentially be onto a, a winner there. Now, when I put in Halloween word search into the search bar, which I always do when I'm doing my keyword research, I like to see what else comes up. And we've got Halloween word search for adults, puzzle books, puzzles. Puzzle books seems to be sort of a dominant word here. So I put in Halloween word search for adults and that's got even less search results. So that may be something to, to consider. So I wrote down what I would probably do if I was um, doing a title and subtitle for this and targeting keywords. I'd call this book a Halloween word search book. So you've got two keywords in one there, Halloween word search and Halloween word search book, which are things that people are searching for on Amazon. And then I'd write something like a spooky Halloween puzzle book for adults and teens. And you could keep that a word finder puzzle book if you, if you wanted to there. And I think there you would be targeting because you're getting in the adults, um, Halloween puzzle book for adults, Halloween puzzle book for teens. You're getting a few different keywords in there that are not too competitive. But I think the main thing I would do is maybe just look at the cover. Now you can, you know, even if you're running ads, you can experiment because you can just upload different covers, see what works, if they um, affect your um, conversions, your click-through rates, if you, I say, if you are doing the ads. If you're not, you can just change the, the cover and see if you start getting sales. I've certainly done that on some of my books. So maybe just try a different cover, see if you can 
um, improve that click-through rate. But overall, I think you are onto a, a winner here. Now, the next book we come to is this one, which is the Easter Fun Colouring Book, Cute Images for Girls and Boys to Colour In. So it looks like the main keyword here would be Easter Fun Colouring Book. I'm not sure if that's a keyword that's been searched for, so let's go and have a look. So if we put in Easter, then Fun. No. Colouring? No. So that's not coming up. So Easter Fun Colouring Book doesn't look like it's a, a particular keyword that's being searched, but I'm sure Easter Colouring Book would be. Yeah. And if we look here, we've got... Um, just go back a step. Easter Colouring Book. We've got 1,300 uh, monthly Google searches, which is good. So now let's do our search. And we've got 3,000 results. So that would be a bit competitive. I prefer to target keywords with 1,000 results or less. And so this would be too competitive for, for my likes unless I was running ads on the book. So that might be a reason why you're not getting the, the traffic that you want to see in order to get those sales. The cover, there's quite a lot of images on there. It doesn't look too bad, but quite a lot of images. I'd probably simplify it a little bit. Um, enlarge colouring book, make it more clearer so when people are looking on their phone and searching it, it does pop out as uh, an Easter colouring book, get rid of the word fun. Now there is an issue with your subtitle here in that your commas aren't really in the right place and your capitalisation is is incorrect as well which can put customers off, it's sort of, I guess it's a, a subconscious type thing and you're not really targeting any keywords here at all you just got cute images again people wouldn't be searching for that cute kid collection bunny chick i mean i don't know why you're adding those words in cute kid collection maybe if that's the brand you're trying to build because you've called yourself cute kid books that's fair enough but bunny chick i'm not sure why that's even there on the cover or or in the subtitle it doesn't really mean anything to me so i would do some keyword research Start looking at less competitive keywords. So go in to the Google, uh, to the Amazon search bar, put in Easter Colouring Book, and look at some of these other keywords you've got here, and look at who your book is targeted for, and maybe pick one of these keywords um, as the main title of your book, and also uh, let's say do some more research and find another keyword maybe to put in the subtitle, but make it look uh, natural. Don't just shove keywords into there it is against uh, the Amazon's terms of service if you do do that now if we click on the book now for some reason I can't click on this book to have a look at the interior which is a shame um, but 9.99 now that looks a bit expensive 38 pages so it's quite small now I'm assuming um, I can't tell from this that you're You've got one image and the underside of that image is blank. So that would only be leaving 19 images at most, which for 9.99 might be a bit too expensive. You might want to think about reducing the price of that. But let's have a look at the description. Cute images. Yeah, not too bad. And you've done these bullet points that give the, you know, the general features. So that's, that's okay. Yeah, it says here 19 sheets. So 9.99 for for 19 uh, colouring sheets may be a bit too expensive. You may want to consider reducing that maybe to start with $7.99, something like that. But I don't know what the interior looks like, so I can't comment on that. Next book, the Good News Bible Activity Book to explain the gospel. So looking at this, first of all, let's look at the cover. This isn't a cover that strikes me as being consistent with this niche. This looks more like a a comic book type um, niche. And if we look at the back cover, again, that looks more sort of comic book type with this sort of comic book font there as well. So you have made some sales and you've got one review, which is good. Um, so that is promising. So you may be doing something right. Now in the title, you've got good news. So I don't think that'd be a, a keyword that's specific to this type of book. And, and I, and I would probably change the title, probably something like Bible Activity Book. But I suspect that's going to be quite competitive. And yes, I put it in the search bar and we came up with 6,000 results. So unless you were running ads, 
it's probably going to be a bit too competitive to get this ranked organically um, at the top of the first page or near the top of the first page in order to get those sales. And just looking at other books that are listed that are selling well, and we can see here um, they've got great bestsellers ranks. So this is a niche that's got the traffic, it's got the sales. Um, you can see they're all of a similar sort of appearance. You've got these Bible characters, which I guess is in keeping with this um, type of book. So I would probably, if I was, if you were wanting to go for this um, keyword, I would put something like Bible Activity Book as my title. Again, it would be too competitive for me unless I was thinking about running ads. Now I did go to our uh, Magnet 2 keyword research tool in Helium 10 and I put in Bible Activity Book just to have a start looking at some other keywords that you may want to target. And we've got Bible Journal, Bible Journal for Kids, so that could be something to put into the um, subtitle if that was if you thought that was relevant to your particular book. And also maybe looking at words like Prayer Journal. So you could have something like, let's have a look at what you've got here. So you could have Bible Activity Book in your title, then something like, if this is aimed at kids, which I think it is, something like a Bible Journal Book for Kids. Although it's an activity book. Now, yeah, so maybe journal isn't what this particular book is. So Bible activity book, you may want to put in the subtitle and maybe a couple of activities and maybe if it... See, the problem I have with this is if I click on the book and then go and have a look, it's not clear what activities there are in this book. Is it word search? Is it a colouring book? Is it various puzzles? Those are the sort of things you would find in an activity book. And when reading through the description, again, it's not clear to me what's in this book. So if it has got things like word search, colouring, you may want to go Bible activity book, a Bible colouring and word search book for kids with other puzzles, something like that, or a Bible puzzle book. You know, just uh, try and target a couple of keywords and maybe in the description, do just a bulleted list of the activities that are in this book. Uh, maybe it's because I haven't read it thoroughly, although, uh, oh, we've got here. Um, OK, making comics to word scramble. So that's maybe why you've got the comic cover, but it's not obvious. And I would still maybe change the, the cover. But overall, not too bad. I think we've got time for one more quick one and this is a calorie counter meal planner logbook journal for weight loss and for diabetic now looking at the cover it looks a bit bland i prefer something a bit brighter maybe these fruits in colors and the font it is not clear even on my computer and particularly on the you know if you're looking on your phone buying these sorts of books it, that, that's too a bit too difficult to read and a bit too long for a title in, in my opinion and to be honest, with this title, it looks like you're trying to cram too many keywords in there. Now you're getting calorie counter and meal planner. Now, as far as I'm concerned, they're two different types of books. Maybe they're combined in this book, but it sounds like you know, if you look in the subtitle, weight loss and for diabetic, I mean, that doesn't make sense and you've lost your capitalization there. So, you know, for weight loss and diabetic, that just doesn't make sense. So you need to change that. So let's have a look inside the book to see what it actually is all about. And we've got a weight chart. So this looks like it is more regards weight. And we've got this calorie counter. So calorie counter where you write in your foods and the calories. Now as I scroll through, that's all we seem to have. And yeah, as it says here, 112 pages of calorie counter. It's not very good. I mean, that description at the back puts me off. 112 pages of calorie counter for day wise record. I mean, that's, you know, it's not proper English. You need to check that in Grammarly. Okay, so this book isn't a meal planner. Okay, so you need to get rid of meal planner because someone might buy this, find out it's not a meal planner because a meal planner is literally where you're writing down your meals and you're planning them. This is a calorie counter. So you may get someone that buys this thinking it is a meal planner. It's not leaving you a negative review, which could harm the sales of your book. Now you've got it at $7.99. Probably is a bit expensive for this type of book. Uh, looking at the interior, I'd probably change that to $6.99. I would call it a calorie counter 
logbook. Let's just have a quick look at some keywords related to that. So if you put in calorie counter, a calorie counter book, let's see if we've got logbook. Calorie counter logbook is there. Let's just have a look at the competition. 248 results. Okay, not um, too competitive. So that's something you could um, rank for. And calorie counting books are relatively popular because people do like to do diets and, and monitor their calories. And you may want to look at just by putting in calorie counter, maybe book, just seeing what other keywords come up. We've got calorie counter journal. Just do a bit of research to see what you could use in your subtitle because for weight loss and for diabetic, you, you could put for weight loss. I think that's important, but you may want to put something like a calorie counting journal for weight loss as your subtitle and just have calorie counter logbook in your title and let's have a quick look at the description personal logbook to plan meals and count calories for weightless i mean that's that's bad you don't put weightless it's weight loss two separate words and for diabetic people okay that makes a bit more sense uh, keep track of your weight okay 112 pages of calorie counter for day wise record day wise record doesn't make sense daily record so 112 pages of calorie counting for for daily record keeping and you've, you've got your capital A's that you need to put a capital E for each here after full stop so your description is poor it needs redoing checking um, with someone that has English maybe as their first language or put in something like Grammarly to, to check the, the grammar the spelling and the punctuation and yeah and improve the, the cover so there's quite a few things here that i think are reducing your chance of getting traffic because i say you've got meal planner which is very i know is very competitive so you're probably not even appearing for that particular keyword and it would be the wrong keyword so I think there's lots of things here you need to look at your keywords your cover your interior is fine change your description and also alter your price and then see what happens so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you do hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. And until next time, goodbye.